guys it's been a little bit sort of I feel so refreshed because I just got my hair done got a little trim just feel a little bit more put together I have my trip to go have Thanksgiving with my man again for the third consecutive year so I'm I'm just pumped with a lot of good energy right now did I just say good energy yes I did I'd be a perfect time to film because my hair actually looks a bit decent than in the last video. I can't believe I did upload that because my hair looked horrendous. So this is actually presentable right now. I got a new package in. Um, you know how I, well in the last video I got my first P. Louis space for setting like like an eye primer well I also picked up a couple of their paints their P. Louise paints I think they're called or, or their artistry paints so I try to do something with them today I use this all over my lid but then I went over with the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette this glittery shimmer shade right here See if it actually picks up. Let's show it in my lighting, but I don't know if you can still see that or not. Palette, this pretty kind of white, yellow, gold champagne. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but they're super pretty and super sparkly. And then in the crease, before I added the paint, like as a cut crease almost, I used this color, ED1, E2, and C2 all over my crease. It's crazy that this looks like a brown, but it's actually pretty, um, on the thing, it's like an orangey red almost. I kind of like the magic of this palette. Um, when you look at the actual shade, you're, gonna, you're thinking it's that shade, but when you put it on your eyelid, it's a different color entirely. So I use in conjunction with this palette and this, and then I use, I tried to do it, I don't think it actually worked out. I can't never do really sharp wing liner, hopefully I'll be better at it in the future, but that's what I did with those bases. I used the shades Hint of Mint and then I used the Rude Boy Red. They just work better in my opinion than the um, ColourPop Gel Pot Liners which I feel like they're already dry. This is just like a chit chat, a lot of chit chat video. I wouldn't even call it a get ready with me because I'm already ready up. <laughs> this is just a talking like video. Um, and I just completely forgot what I just said before I started talking about this. <laughs> for another video, I will do looks with this for you. Well, for me because I feel like nobody's watching my YouTube channel right now. Very, very, very discouraging. Maybe I should do a giveaway so people subscribe in order to get the giveaway. And then I'll have actual subscribers that actually want to watch my content. Because I feel like it's just friends and family watching my channel. And it's just, it, it's not... But I feel like nobody is watching my videos anymore. I just don't feel the need to the need to want to do this anymore because I'm not getting any feedback and it, it kind of hurts. And you see a bunch of mooshes, mooshes, mooses, and fishes. I can't paint over that. Renting a house, can't paint it. Can't do anything about it. I still have like sticker stars on my ceiling in my room. Probably because a, uh, I don't know if a little girl lived in this room or a boy. I 
don't know. It's like a bright blue room with glow-in-the-dark stars on the ceiling and then a fishing... A fishing bathroom? I don't know. I don't, I don't get this layout. I feel like if somebody would have rented this out, I feel like you should have painted the walls just this color with no decorations. Just me, personally. I mean, it's just really weird. It's like along the lines, there's, I don't know what they are. It looks like a pig and a beaver riding a, not riding a boat, canoeing. And then there's like fishes coming out of the water and then fishes in it. Like, you see that? What is that? I don't I just feel very, like, <laughs> I don't know. Um. <laughs> you know how I canceled my Ipsy subscription? Even in the last video, I put in my thumbnail, I little mini Ipsy haul. I'm still getting a box, but when I check my, because I have two accounts for Ipsy, uh, don't ask me why. <laughs> One of them is still sending me an Ipsy box when I canceled. I physically went into both of my accounts and canceled my Ipsy box subscription. And Ipsy does not have an email you can contact. It has like a help.ipsy.com and you like type in a question and things pop up and it just answers right on the website. It doesn't give you an email to contact anybody, which is, I think, really weird, in my opinion. Uh, I had a voice to them on Instagram saying, like, I'm still getting, I hope I'm not still getting charged for an Ipsy box I canceled, and physically on my account, it says it's, I don't have that subscription, but I'm still getting it, and I did I did check my statement. It's still fucking charging. I canceled that. Why is it still sending me that and charging me? So I'm very pissed off uh, because I already do spend money on things for myself. I don't need to spend extra money that I don't have. I don't like it. I don't like it. And the box is shitty. It just is. It's not worth it. Uh, I think there's a... Uh, I recently subscribed maybe like a month ago to Connor Kristen here on YouTube. And I'll link her... Ins not Instagram. I'll link her YouTube channel down below. God, I can't do these hand signals. She put, or there was a petition for to, for Ipsy Glam Box that it went, that people should get their money back, that it's not worth it, all the things that they're getting. It's very cheap, very, I, I just don't understand it. For a makeup lover that's getting a box, it should be makeup infused, like things, not some boring old crap, you know? Uh, I love Ipsy. I've had Ipsy glam bag forever and when they turned it into not when they add the extra like box kind of like boxy charm but a little bit bigger I thought oh that's fun um yeah it's not and I'm a makeup lover I'm a makeup addict if you don't know that already and you're subscribed to me I don't know where you've been but uh <laughs> I, the Ipsy is just out of control. It's trying to be Fab Fit Fun. It's trying to be Boxy Charm, but it's not living up to the price tag you're supposed to get. And I canceled that because I, uh, I think the second box I canceled it because I was just so disappointed in the products I got. I remember the first palette I got was Boring Brown. Like, it it was the um, Ipsy X Tetris palette. That was probably the... It just felt cheap. 
it felt like a like they didn't sell that product so they put it in the box terrible color scheme just boring colors not great payoff i did not like it mm -mm. so i'm still trying to get the hang of trying to email ipsy when they don't have an email because i need to cancel that because i canceled it but they're still charging me and they're still bringing me the package even though i canceled the subscription <laughs> it's, it's it's ridiculous and person like me i eight out of ten times i forget my password to all of my like account stuff i'm like are you kidding me <laughs> I'm not old, but I feel old because I keep forgetting my passwords. Ah. <laughs> but I still have my Ipsy Glam bag, which I love. And I have two Ipsy Glam bags because I have two accounts, like I said. But I just love the Ipsy Glam bag. It's just... It's much cheaper. $10, $12 a month. You get a cute little bag and you get five samples all together and sometimes if you get extra points you can add another product or some months they give you an extra product just for shits and giggles i don't know <laughs> but they i just love the ipsy glam bag because even though there are samples in there or like deluxe samples for a person that has a ton of makeup it's so much easier to use up many products. And Ipsy has a lot of unknown brands you've never heard of. And it's, it, I think it's just a better rewards. <laughs> what is a Betty Boop collection? This bag is so cute, much cuter than the uh, Ipsy box bag. This is just a cheap version. I hate. Ugh. it's just scratchy I hate it and this has it's not that it doesn't have that weird this can look a little childish but it's cuter and more sleek in my opinion it has like a B for Betty Boop I never really uh, like I know about Betty Boop but I'm not I'm not into it like the Hello Kitty phase. I was never obsessed with that, you know? I don't know. And it's weird. I have the same exact profiles for my two Ipsy accounts and I get different products every time. It's, it's pretty weird. I got a really nice dual-ended brush from Crown. A lot of people don't like dual-ended brushes, but I do. I think they're very convenient. This looks like a pencil brush and then a really kind of flat dome crease or outer V brush so that's what it looks like I got a mascara since this whole thing was like Ipsy collab with Betty Boop or something just a mini mascara i will probably give this to somebody um the one looks kind of like the Too faced uh, damn girl because it has that curves right in the middle but it's more straight i i haven't used this i will probably give this to somebody or if you'd like i can do a mini giveaway and put that in a little box for somebody but i won't be using this i won't be trying it out because I, I, I probably wouldn't use it up. I got the belief. See, I always think I thought it was belief, but it's not spelled like that. It's spelled belief, B E L I F. It's a true cream. This aqua. looks really pretty. This is called Scene from Space. It's a powder highlighter. Um. I don't know the brand. I think it's Seen From Space is the brand, I think. It shows you a little of what you got in your glam bag, which I like that new thing that you get. 
uh, but uh, it doesn't show the price on it. So I'll show you a swatch of it. It doesn't feel creamy, it just feels kind of like a powder. Ooh, that's pretty. That's like a kind of light golden champagne. Show you if I can show you that. Do you see that? This would work great for my skin tone because I'm pale. I like the extra product. I got two of sheet masks. I really love when they do this because I get to try new skincare masks. These look really kind of cool and like interesting. Essence Herb. No, Essence Herb. There's a canola honey mask and a tea tree pure tea your tea tree mask with the honey one I'm sure it's like hydration uh, nourish the skin and then the tea tree one ooh, skin stress care okay I may have to put this on my face thank god I haven't been breaking out for a couple days I feel so relieved but you know I still have that all like all around here just the high pigmentation of that acne scarring. But thank God, no more pimples right now. So I am happy. So when I break out, I will probably use this to put all over my face because I hate, hate breaking out. And I feel like I'm the only one that breaks out at 24 years old. I am falling a little bit off. And this is Jeffy Star, the gloss in the shade I'm the Boss. The company is called Context, which I've never heard of. So this is what the lipstick looks like. It looks like a satin uh, cream lipstick. I have such bad swatching, but that's what it looks like. It's a really peachy nude, really pretty. I will be definitely keeping that and putting that in my little container, which I do need to get another container for lipsticks because I just have a bunch of kind of lipsticks kind of just all over the place right now. I gotta clean this up. Talk about that I can do looks with, that I can just chat about. I just. I can, I have all the products I can do, but I don't, can't grow anything. I just got my first dislike on the video I did recently. I'm like, who the heck would have disliked it? I have all people that, I know everybody that subscribed to me. How is, what? <laughs> I just feel like nobody's watching my videos anymore. It's very, very disappointing. Maybe I just stop this and just do makeup on myself just because I want to. Because I feel like nobody wants to see me do it. Which is very, very, very frustrating. I think I should end this video because it's getting too long, but I'm sure I will cut out a lot of the parts. No, just please help me out with my channel. Please share this video, please. Just, I just, please, <laughs> want more subscribers. And then I can do a really fun giveaway and I, my brother still plan to do my makeup or for him to do his makeup and it'd just be really funny. Like, come on, I, please help. I haven't grown in like two months. It's not fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this random chit chat, ipsy talk about here. Uh, I will see you in my next video. I hope you can like this video. Make sure to subscribe because I will do a giveaway soon and you will only be entered into the giveaway if you are subscribed to my channel and leave a really sweet comment down below of what is your favorite makeup product. I would love to know. Their makeup is universal and it has so many products. 
that different people use and I would love to hear about it. And uh, I hope you have a peachy day wherever you are. I hope you have a peachy day wherever you are. Be kind to one another. Bye guys. Thank you.